So I have this is Amit and you are watching my channel information and educational video. So here in this video, I will talk about marks versus percentile versus rank versus all NIT. It is, it is for large possible branch. What should be your marks? What should be your percentile? What should be your rank to get top 5, top 10, top 20 or lowest NIT for this year of JMS examination? It is J2022. So here basically I will consider the all category safer score that is general EWS, OBC, SC, ST. And male, female, both type of cutoff I will consider here. That is what, what are the percentile requirement? What are the marks for and that? What is the safe rank for that? So everything I will consider it will be available for top five NIT, top ten NIT, top twenty NIT, as well as for lowest possible NIT also. So basically, by watching this video, you will able to know what should be your, what should be the targeted marks for you for this year of JMS examination. So that you will get, you will able to get into the top five, top ten, or top twenty, or lowest possible in IT. Any with possible branches that is available with the minimum marks. So, so if you are first to my channel, please try to subscribe the channel so that you will get all the update about JMA, J Advanced, and other entrance exam, other counseling also in the same channel. So please try to subscribe. It's my request to you so that you will not miss any type of update about any entrance exam. So let's get started with the first thing that is top five in IT. What should be your percentile? That is for general. EWS, OBC, SC, ST, male, female, both type of student I will consider and that what is, should be the safe marks and what will be the safe percentile and what will be your safe rank that is marks versus percentile versus rank versus it versus NIT and this type of information you will not able to find because this takes a lot of effort from me and my team. So that's why I'm requesting you please try to support me as well by making more subscription to the channel so that I will get some support and I will continue to make this type of video so that all a student will get the important information at the right time so let's get started so if you are from general category and you just want to get into the top 5 NIT with any possible branch then your then your percentile should be 95.6 and 94 that is for male and female and for your kind information i would like to inform you that the top NIT that is top 5 or top 10 have more number of branches it is lots of lots of those type of branches which are very less demandable that's where the cutoff is low if you will compare it with the lowest possible NIT then you will say how it is possible to get top 5 NIT with the same type of percentile that I am getting in lowest NIT because in lowest NIT only 4 branches are available but in the top NIT as those NIT are the oldest NITs that's why there are lots of branches available and some branches are very less demandable that's why you will get the uh, get the lowest possible branch at very low percentile and for that percentile your marks requirement will be 131 and 120 that is male female respectively and the rank will be 46 and 57,000 as of now it there may be a little bit variation but marks I am sure that you will be able to get the NIT with the lowest possible branch with that marks but ranking system depend on the number of a student that will appear in the exam. So, so next if you talk about for EWS a student it will be 95 and 93 percentile for male female respectively and Marks requirement will be 125 and 150 and rank, rank will be 6.6 thousand and 9 thousand that is your category EWS rank and above rank was for general that is CRL rank here it is EWS category rank so now let's talk about for OBC again 95 and 93 percentile similar type of marks but your rank will be 14,000 and 20,000 that is OBC category rank and for SC 84 and 79 percentile marks will be 93 and 81 and let me inform you the marks that I am considering in this video is for moderate paper. If the paper will be easy, you may have to score 10 to 15 marks more. And in case of hard paper, you may have to score 15 to 20 marks less as well. But here I am considering only the moderate paper. So let's continue this video. That is rank will be 4.2 and 7.6 thousand. That is SC category rank. So now let's talk about for ST category. It will be 83 and 78 percentile and marks will be 90 and 79. And for rank and, and the rank that is ST category rank will be 2.8 and 4.1 thousand that is for male and female respectively. So one more thing I would like to inform you before going forward for this video that is I have uploaded similar type of information video for CSC branch as well as for EC also. If you want you can check that video in the i button as well as in the description box. You will get the link so that you will able to target the CSC branch, EC branch as well. But here I am considering the lowest possible branch because many students just want to get into the NIT no matter with any possible branches. So now so, let's continue this video for top 10 NIT college. So here is the information that is for general candidate. Your percentile should be 94.2 uh, and 93.7 for male and female and uh, marks, marks requirement will be 121 and 120 marks and, and rank will be 56,000 and 63,000 that is CRL rank. And for EWS 93 and 92 marks will be 115 and 111 rank 9,000 and 10.3,000. Now uh, if you talk about for OBC candidate 93 and 92 
and marks will be 115 and 111 marks and rank will be 20 and 20 23.3000 it is obc category rank and for sc category 75 and 70 uh, percentile will be required and marks will be 75 and 67 and rank will be 10000 and 13000 it is sc category rank and for st uh, category uh, percentile will be required 94 and 69 Marks will be 73 and 66 and, and the category rank will be 5.1 and 6.2 thousand. So this was about the top 10 NIT lowest possible branch for top 5 I've already talked at the start of this video. So before moving forward for this video I would like to inform you that if you want the complete counseling guidance and mentorship from me personally you can contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number so that I will help you first for the preparation and after for the counseling process and also for the physical verification. So if you want you can contact me anytime it is, and it is not limited to only J means but for other internet exam other counseling also whatever you will do this year I will be guiding you for everything first for the preparation to get the better result and after that for the complete counseling process so that you will get the best out of that result that is best college with best plan. So if you want you can contact me for the detail through Instagram or WhatsApp number available in the description box. So let's continue this video that is for top 20 and IT college here, the, here is the information that is for general 94 and 93.4 percentile will be required for and the marks requirement will be 120 and 119 and rank will be 58 and 66,000 that is CRL rank. As I said at the start of this video that is lowest NIT will not have lots of branches that those NIT will only have the core branch that's why the but, difference uh, in percentile of top NIT with lowest possible branch and the lowest NIT with lowest possible branch is very less because top NIT will have lots of branches that are very less demandable such as IPR, VTech course that is integrated course as well as material science engineering other type of branches are available in top NIT but in lowest NIT only core branches such as mechanical, civil, electrical those type of branches are available that's why the cutoff difference is very less so now if you talk about for EWS 94 and 93 marks will be 120 and 115 rank will be 5.8 and 9000 that is your EWS category rank so now if you talk about for OBC 94 and 92.5 percentile, if you talk about the marks, it is 120 and 113 marks and rank will be 17 and 21.7 thousand at least your OBC category rank. So once again, I would like to confirm that it is the marks that, that is relevant to moderate paper. If your paper will be easy or hard, it will change accordingly. So next if you talk about for SC category 76 and 73 percentile will be required at least for male and female and marks requirement will be 76. And 72 and rank will and be uh, 9.4 thousand and 11.2 thousand. So next if you talk about for ST category, it is 75 and 70 percentile, marks will be 75 and 67, rank will be 4.9 and 6 thousand, that is your ST category rank. So, so now I would like to introduce the Philo app where you can get the solution of all your question, doubt or you have problem with any type of concept related to J or NEET or boards examination. Then you can get the solution 24 by 7 with these three easy steps. That is first you have to download the Philo app in the play store and then you have to do the sign up process using your mobile number and after that take the photo of your question and upload that in the app. And after that within 60 seconds you will be connected to the India's best educator. In question, you want to say bulb ki power is the bulb? Jo hai? वो 220 वोल्टेज पर ऑपरेट हो रहा है राइट इस बैटरी का जो वोल्टेज है वो आपको गिवन है 220 तो ये आपको सिंपल रिलेशन हो गया यहां पर अब अगर कोई आपको और डाउट है तो बताइए सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग योर टाइम डाउनलोड द फिलो ऐप लिंक इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एंड यूज द कोड IEB001 यू विल गेट द 10% इंस्टेंट डिस्काउंट थैंक सो नेक्स्ट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द लोएस्ट ब्रांच कट ऑफ फॉर लोएस्ट पॉसिबल एनआईटी दैट इज जस्ट वांट टू गेट इनटू द एनआईटी विद एनी पॉसिबल ब्रांच विद एनी एनआईटी इन द इंडिया so here is the information that is for general 93.8 and 92.6 percentile will be required that is for male and female and one more thing I would like to confirm here that is I am providing you the cutoff which is relevant to uh, USA counseling not for the CSAP counseling in CSAP counseling you can get the college at very low rank as well very less marks also but it is not predictable but as but as the examination will be concluded I will try to provide the information relevant to CSAP counseling also if you will get less marks your last stop will be CSAP counseling but here I am providing you the same marks relevant to JOSA counseling because JOSA counseling are a little bit predictable and there you will be sure to get the college that's why I am providing you the safe marks safe means to be 100% sure so now let's continue this video that is marks requirement will be 119 and 113 marks and, uh, and the rank will be 2 and 74,000 and AWS 93 and 92 that is male and female and if you talk and about marks it is 115 and 111 and rank will be 9000 and 10.3000 that is EWS category rank and for OBC 93 and 92 percentile marks 115 111 rank 20000 and 23.3000
SC category, if you talk, then 70, 60, uh, 65 percentile, and marks will be 67 and 64, and rank will be 13 and 16,000. And now, if you talk about the last category, that is ST category, uh, then percentile requirement will be 66 and 63, and marks will be 64 and 62, and rank will be 6.8 and 7.4 thousand. But if your rank will be around uh, 9,000, 10,000, then also you can expect, but in CSEP counseling, not in JOSA counseling. So this was all about the marks versus percentile versus rank versus all NIT that is the lowest possible branch I have considered that is the safe marks to get the lowest, lowest possible branch in the J2022 examination that is J means 2022 and it was relevant to JOSA counseling. So I hope you find this information very useful for you. So please try to subscribe the channel so that I will get some support from your side and try to share this video so that other can also take the reference from this video. So thanks again for watching this video. Please try to subscribe.